Hey everybody, this is D-Wide Hand, and we're back with my Pokemon Y Nuzlocke. Uh, last time I explored the route, was it route 6 and 7, I believe? Well, I'm, I'm on 7 right now, I, but I, uh, I went to Parfum Palace, and I caught a Snorlax off of this route. Hell yeah, lazy boy. Cool, I, I really I really need a heavy hitter mon, just a kind of safeguard my team because I just got absolutely wrecked. It's like I'm still I'm still reeling from uh from the the massive uh ma the massive uh furfru attack that destroyed half my team. If you have I think it was an episode episode and a half ago. But yeah, uh let's continue onward through uh through route seven. What do you want to say, Serena? Or Shana? Well, whatever. All is well that ends well. I wonder what lies past where that Snorlax was sleeping. Blah, blah, blah. Same shit you said last time. Alright. That's the daycare. Uh, this, this is still Route 7, correct? Uh, I need a town map. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is still Route 7, but I just need to make sure. Just, just so I know whether or not I can catch a Pokemon on this route. No, I keep bringing up my uh, trainer card. <laughs> uh, map. I guess I have to go in the bag for that, unfortunately. There's the map. There's the map. Use. Yeah, I'm still on Route 7. So the, uh... So that Snorlax was my capture for this one. And I'm gonna switch... I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put Lestronomy in front. Sounds like a good idea. Alright, oh. Oh no, he's gonna. Is a daycare man gonna stop me? No, it's these idiots. Hey, Trev said he wants to check out the Pokemon daycare. Come with us. I don't, what if I don't want to check out the Pokemon daycare? Stop! This is the Pokemon daycare. They take care of your Pokemon for you. Yes, indeed. You can leave two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something that can, that can happen when two Pokemon are here. That's right. Sometimes we'll find a new addition like an egg. Like an egg. It's. Just an egg, I'm pretty sure. If you carry around an egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it. Wow, Pokemon will come out. Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. Having the same Pokemon with the same moves might s s step up my dance. <laughs> How about you? Some other time. There aren't many Pokemon I want to raise. I'll try to. I'll try it on some other occasion. That's one way to look at it. Well, I'm going to go look for some Pokemon for my dance team. Well, hey, wait. <laughs> Toastina's pizza rolls. Wait up. I don't know, do I even have any extra Pokemon, or do I have, I think I have everybody with me. Is there, do I have all my, uh, do I have all my, uh, team with me right now? Yeah, just the four in my death box and the six with me. I don't know, should I, should I put somebody over here just for, like, just to save them for later? I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. I think I should just stick with the team I have. If I, if I fail the need to later, I'll drop something off in the daycare. I don't know, sometimes in those locks I'll do that where I'll, I'll drop something off in the daycare and, uh, and, uh, just like leave it there for the entire Nuzlocke, and if I ever come come across a situation where I just get, get annihilated, I, I fly back to that town and I and I grab the uh, the Pokemon I left there because it's going to be stronger by that point. I'm the daycare man. We take care of the precious Pokemon of other trainers. If you like this to raise your Pokemon, have her with my wife. Give me those two uh, Esper in there. I want those. And that Pyro. Uh, is there anything? Oh, there's Tierno. What are you doing? Oh, hey. Do you have a Dun? Have you seen a Dunsparce? Actually, no. I didn't. Can you, you can catch Dunsparce here. I completely forgot about that. That's pretty cool. There's Trevor. What the fuck, Trevor? Oh, there's an artist. I actually want to battle her. What's up? A heated battle against the traveling trainer should provide me with the inspiration I need. Come on, bring it on. Artist Georgia. Smeargle. Go with astronomy. Hopefully, I'm just glad it's not a dark void Smeargle. You know how broken that would be? Let's turn down the volume just a smudge. There we go. Imagine, imagine me facing a dark void Smeargle. That'd be terrible. Oh, it has Ember. That's kind of, that's kind of interesting. Wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting to get burned either. <laughs> Take this. This thing 
game probably has, like, all the base level, like, uh, elemental moves. It probably has, I don't know, I'm gonna guess Thundershock, uh, Water Gun, uh, Ember, uh, and, Vine, and Vine Whip, or Absorb, or something. It has all the base level attacks. I'm gonna... What's it got? Is that Ember again? Stop it. The last thing I need is, uh... Is Lestronomy dying. Eat that. Yes. Smeargle's a cool Pokemon. I love Gen 2. Give me that extra level. What, do I evolve in this next one? I keep thinking I evolve at 16. I, pre I hope I do. Artist Georgia. Excellent, thanks. It's been ages since I worked up a good sweat like this from a Pokemon battle. Adam received her $96 for winning. Evolve? Yes! Yes! What? Lastronomy is evolving. Hell yes. Awesome. Give me that Ivy Sword. Come on. Come <laughs> yes. I need all the, uh, the strong Pokemon I can get. Congratulations, it's probably evolved in the Ivy Sword. Do you learn any new moves, though? No, no, no new moves. But hey, let's uh, let's check out uh, let's check out Ivy Sword here. Let's see, astronomy still burn. I need to fix that. Cool. Nice. Oh. That's kind of weird. <laughs> There's a powder out power outage here just now. Luckily, I'm not plugged into the wall. <laughs> cool. Alright. I'm going to... Heal. My Ivysaur up. Where's the... Do I have a burn heal? I have, yeah, oh, I have one burn heal. Get that. I use a potion. There you go. All right, and let's continue. Actually, I'm gonna replace the. Uh, I'm gonna re do I have the miracle seed. I think I already gave it the miracle seed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already already gave uh, astronomy the miracle seed. Maybe I give it give that to uh, so red. Oh well. So, who else do I want to put in front here? Let's see. Uh, uh, I don't know. Plum boom. Sure, and uh, lazy boy. Let's do it. I'm looking for items. Looking for items. A Trevor right there. Um, so Adam, how about how many Pokemon have you seen? Do you want to compare Pokedexes to find out? How, yeah. Try to put it another way. I'm challenging you to do it to my own kind of Pokemon battle. Yes. So you've seen 60 kinds of Pokemon? I lost. How frustrating. Oh, so you've seen routes too. Hey! Just kn knowing about the same Pokemon as somebody else can make you happy. Yep. Oh crap. What's going to be? I can't catch it, but I'm, I'm interested to see what it is. Oh, it's a blue flood baby. This should be no problem for Plume Boom to take care of. And let's see what Return does. Return probably hits hard now. Yeah, it hits pretty damn hard, actually. That's This is not going to do anything to me. <laughs> I'm going to quick attack you now, which should still be pretty decent damage. Fairy Wind, huh? Shoot me with your flower power. Boosh. Take that. Give me that experience. Alright. Uh, I'm starting to get, look like I need to heal up again. Uh, at least with uh, Plume Boom. I'll just do one of these numbers. And one of these. There we go. Get me off of this screen, please. And let's continue. Getting that item. X Special Defense. Hey, that's more money for me. <laughs> Oh god. Oh yeah, double battle. Uh, oh god. What, what, what is this? I don't want to go in there. Please don't make me go in there. I wanted to do the double battle. Adam, you know about this building? It's called the Battle Show Toe, and it's, where fam it's famous for being more places where Pokemon, uh, duh, where trainers gather to improve their skills. If I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat Callus 8 Gym Leaders. I'm not going to go in there just yet. Just yet. Ugh. I'm just going to see what, about battling these trainers. Who's in front again? It should be Plume Boom and Lazy Boy. I don't know, what kind of items can I give Lazy Boy here, uh, give? Can I give you... I think a Quick Claw will actually be good for uh, Lazy Boy. Because he's big and hefty, kind of slow. What about Chi Chi and uh, Plume Boom? Uh, uh, 
berries, maybe? How many? Ooh, lot, we've got a lot of orange berries, yeah. I'll do that. No. Give. Cool. And. Boom, boom. Give. Give you an orange berry. There you go. Alright, let's let's get this dual battle on. Hopefully, they don't have fur fru and they don't just annihilate me like the, like the last dual battle I was in. Show us a magnificent display in battle to get us painting. Get this painting started. Ugh. You there, you're perfect model for our next painting. Am I? Challenged by artist family Mona and Paolo. Mona and Paolo sent out Smeargle and Smeargle. Trolley movesets. I'm, I'm just expecting trolley movesets. I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting, I don't know, I, I keep expecting Dark Void or something, like, idiotic from these. <laughs> oh, you guys hear that? I don't know if you can hear that, but the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, morning, like, uh, tornado siren test is, uh, going off. That happens every Saturday at noon, and just, just past noon. Uh, let's tackle. First the uh, first the power goes out for a split second, then the uh, then the uh, warning sirens. It's kind of ominous. Oh, it knows uh, it knows gust. So yeah, these things seem like they have some pretty pretty trolly move sets. Uh, return again. Uh, tackle you. Metal claw. Metal claw. Wasn't that a uh, wasn't that. Uh, wasn't that uh, Metal uh, Metal Greymon's uh, attack in the Digimon anime? Stomp on him, boosh. Dude, uh, Lazy Boy is just stunting on fools right now. Give me that experience. Ooh, Lazy Boy grows up pretty fast, too. I'm just gonna quick attack you. And, uh, I guess I'll attack you just in case. What? How are you... I used quick attack. Oh, I used return. Stupid stylus made me misclick. There's always this weird thing where it wants to go off to the left. Level 16. Hell yes. Plum Boom wants to learn to move flail. Do I, do I really want to learn flail? Uh, I don't know. Flail. If he flails about aimlessly to attack, the less HP the user has, the greater this moves power. Uh, I don't think so. Should move be deleted and replaced with flail? Keep old moves. Yep, give up on flail, please. It's kind of a risky move to have in a Nuzlocke. Ooh, give me more experience for uh, Lazy Boy. Yahoo, this is going to be our best work yet. I'll never forget our battle together. Thank you. I have no problem uh, <laughs> uh, giving you guys some inspiration. Alright. No, not Pokedex, damn it. That out, get that on my face. Uh, only caught 12 Pokemon so far. Let's see. Uh, I just poke, not take, God. It's <laughs> one second. Give. Heal up. And, oh, nope. Range. Heal you up. All right, let's let's continue onward. Do I really want to go to the Battle Show Toe Road though right now, or is it gonna is it gonna force me to do that? I don't know. I'm, I may do it just to just to just to train up a bit. Who should I put in front? Let's see. Uh, the Lazy Boy and uh, Doctor Strange. I get Lazy Boy up to level like. I don't know. I'll just train up Lazy Boy. I'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I just don't get wrecked. <laughs> Open up the Battle Show Toe. Oh no, it's you. Oh, if it isn't Adam, what, what is your title in the nobility? What? You don't have a title? That's a surprise. No one could doubt a kid as strong as you could have one. To see your title here at the Battle Show Toe shows everyone just how strong you are. Only a handful of trainers can join the ranks of the nobility and earn these titles. Lady Viola, you're acquainted with this young gentleman? Ah, I see you carry the bug badge, young sir. It appears that Lady Viola has recognized your ability as a trainer, then. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name's Lord. Meet you, my lord. My name is Hennessy. Met, made, I, might I ask your name? Sir Adam? A fine name. I'll gladly recommend Adam. 
So will you grant him a beginning title? He has the markings of a very strong trainer, so I'll be I'm sure he'll contribute to the Battle Chateau. Of course, ma'am. If you are willing to speak for him, Lady Viola, then it is more than sufficient. And besides, I too sense extraordinary potential emanating from young Sir Adam. Sir Adam, you're hereby granted the title of Baron. Cool. The trainers of noble titles can do battle against other trainers with titles in the nobility here. At the Battle Chateau, the title of the Baron or Baroness places you at the lowest rank in ability. Continue on in battle here, and your victories will increase your rank and your title. Cool. I'm also a member of nobility, so let's battle again if we have the chance. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, let's just train up here. Uh, I'm gonna go in the, one of these little rooms right here. This is pretty interesting. I, I can never figure out how this works. I, I can, I know I can probably just go on the internet and use it, but like, uh, I don't know. I, it's it's, it's kind of confusing. Like, I guess I, the more people I battle, the higher rank I get or something. I want the kind of thrilling excitement only money can buy. Okay, you, uh, you socialite. <laughs> Baroness Renee, so not Scatterbug. It sounds like a giant werewolf outside, but it's just the, the alarm's going off again. I don't know why they... Um, they, they sometimes they'll, they'll do it multiple times in a row. <laughs> like, I don't know. Those, things, those sirens are actually kind of pathetic. You can barely even hear them sometimes. Stone Spore. Hey, stop. Uh, yeah, just tackle again. Bug bite. I don't, I don't have a berry fool. Can't eat my berry. Eat this. Boosh. The welterweight champion of the world. How invigorating. 3,000 bucks. Oh my god. These people are loaded. Oh, what a thrill from you and your Pokemon. Those, these people are loaded, man. Oh my god. I forgot how loaded these people were. I'm going to get so much money from this. This is a good training spot and a good, uh, and a good, uh, like a, like money grinding spot. Battle me. A graceful maiden and an ancient castle. It's enough to make a picture, wouldn't you say? Sure. <laughs> You're challenged by Baroness Cadet. So not Burmy. Bring it, Burmy. Oh, it's a trash Burmy, too. That's pretty cool. Go, lazy boy. Stun on him. Put this Burmy back in the trash. Use protect. Stop it. <laughs> I don't know what's with Burmy and spamming protect. Ah, tackle him. Oh, I move first. Yes. Thank you. Eat this. Boosh. Bug bite. That doesn't even fave, lazy boy. Fave. Faze. Ugh. Oh, it looks like I accidentally put a... I, I, it looks like I accidentally put two dashes in Lazy Boy. I just noticed that. See that right there? I just noticed that. Take that, Burmy. You pile of uh, insulation. Almost level 16. Cool. I'm so embarrassed by my absolutely disgraceful display. 1800, yes! I'm gonna get so much money from this. This is great. You're, you're, you were envious of my beauty, weren't you? It's all right, I can tell. Um, no. <laughs> you're full of yourself. I was not doing that. Oh, more people. Battle me. Was it? You want to tussle, huh? Good time. I'm coming for you with. I'm coming at you with all I got. What's that? What's that? <laughs> what was that? What? No, really. What was that? What was that word? What's that? Your turn is about Baroness Francine. Francine set out for baby. Something that's kind of laughing at you. Let's see, let's see who's laughing after you get 1,200 pounds of uh, Lazy Boy smashing you in the face. Boosh! Oh my god, that did so much. <laughs> that did so little. 1,200 pounds coming at you, boosh! It's crazy that, uh... It's crazy that... That he, uh... That a Hoopa Unbound weighs more than Snorlax. I just found that out because I got the uh, I got the event Hoopa that I did, that came out for October, along with the the event uh, the event Hoopa the event uh, the event Hoopa the event Keldeo, and I'm gonna get the event uh, Volcanion 
But yeah, uh, the event, like, like, I looked in the decks, though. Hoopa's 21 feet tall and, like, like 1,300 pounds or something. It was crazy. I had no idea Hoopa Unbound was that huge. Hoopa Unbound's a beast. Uh, let's see. Actually, Lazy Boy's doing all right for himself. I don't think uh, I need to heal him up anymore, or any right now, at least. Let, let some fighting types pop up. I'm not holding back. I'm maybe only a bears now, but I'm still a Pokemon trainer. I mean, I'm a Pokemon trainer too. Challenged by Baroness Marilyn. Marilyn? It's not Lady Ball. I reach across the room and grab my glass of tea. Uh, there we go. Nice and refreshed. Time to squash this bug. I wish Lady Ball and uh, Lady Inn were uh, were better, like Pokemon, competitive wise. They they have pretty good. Uh, they have really good uh, special defense, but they're uh, and speed kind of. But their other stats are kind of lackluster, and they they don't really like. I don't know. It'd be cool if they got a Mega Evolution or a Lola form. That'd be pretty cool. I'm just gonna lick this bug. You ever lick the ladybug? <laughs> Comic Punch is such a funny move. I said Comic Punch, didn't I? Comet. Comet Punch. It sounds like it should be a steel move. Or dragon move. Because usually steel and dragon are the ones associated with meteors. I am going to be so loaded by the time I get out of this place. It's, like, insane. Alright. Oh. Who's coming in? Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the entryway and welcome to the new Baroness Camille. We hope you will all welcome her in our mists. There are so many, like, it, it, this is badass. I love, I love just, like, racking up the dough in this... <laughs> Alright, let's go in this room. Let's see who's popping in. Hey, what's up? I have a wonderful feeling about this battle. My heart is about to burst from my chest. You need to calm down. <laughs> you might have a heart attack. Baroness Malus? Malus? Huh. It's boink. Boink boink. Lazy boy, squish this pig for me. Let's see how much a lick does. Let's see how much a super effect lick does. Would you stop sniffing me? Lick. Boosh. Actually did a lot of damage, actually. So yeah, just a couple licks should do it. Psych up. What are you doing? What are you trying to do here, pig? Take that. No more, no more bouncing for you, pig. Does it pain in my chest? Could, be, could it be that my heart is being crushed? Yeah, by a 1,200-pound Snorlax. I feel like my heart's about fit to break. This is the first time I've ever felt like this. Feeling Defeating a simple servant should pose you no problem, or you might as well go home. Hey, don't don't sell yourself short. You can be a good trainer. You're challenged by Baroness Camille. Oh yeah, you're the new, you're the new one, with the Bidoof. I have fond memories of a Bidoof. <laughs> Take this. Take this tackle. Good. Oh my god. Critical hit. Oh my gosh. I feel sorry for that Bidoof. It just got bodied by a Snorlax. <laughs> well, your skills in battle certainly leave nothing to be desired. Ugh. Of course, it's only expected that you would defeat a mere servant like me. Hey, you shouldn't sell yourself short. Alright, anybody else that wants to battle here, or is that it for now? I think that may be it. Let me let me check these rooms right here for new arrivals. I battled you, right? Yeah, okay. It seems like th that's everybody. How much money did I get out of that? Oh my god, $13,000. Almost fourteen. dollars That's crazy. I'm definitely coming back here. Bar Baron Adam, farewell, good, my good sir. Before you leave, I have pleasing news to share. Due to your recent excellence, well, you have granted the title of Viscount. My heartiest congratulations, sir. I hope you will accept my most noble compliments in this wonderful day. I look forward to having the opportunity to see you battle again at Battle Chateau. 
Hey, thanks. All right, uh, that was a good little cash in. Pokedex, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's battle this artist over here. What's up, dude? A blank canvas before me, and yet no inspiration for which to paint. I will provide the information, uh, information, the inspiration you seek, artist Pierre. That is such a, uh, it's such a, uh, cliche uh, name for a painter. <laughs> paint, paint, paint lazy boy like you would one of your girls. Rock smash. You're just pulling out all the tricks. Luckily, you're not too powerful. But you did get the defense drop, so if you keep doing that, it's going to be a problem. But I should just be able to boosh. And uh, one more boosh should do it. Powdered snow. Man, you're pulling out all the stops. You'll probably get the, you'll probably get the uh, speed lower, too. Wouldn't, nah, nah, I guess not. I wouldn't put it past me to get a defense and speed drop in a row. Thanks for the experience, dude. I've got it. Hey, no problem. I'm happy to help. <laughs> right. Uh, I keep going into my Pokedex instead of going into my bag. Get out of my way. I can't wait to get the uh, get the Rotom Pokedex in uh, Sun and Moon. I'm I'm interested to see if that like, like if like you can actually use the uh, the Rotom in battle. You know how cool that would be. You know how cool to be able to use the Rotom in battle. Oh, I forget that is this is a Snorlax. I should have just used a super potion on that instead of wasting two regular potions, but oh well. I'm just gonna... Oh, there's another item there, and I'm being stopped again. Oh no, is this a battle? If you don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up, hmm? Let's go Tierno and Trevor against A and me. Hey! Yeah, sure. Okay, A, since we're neighbors, we might as well battle together, right? Ooh, a double battle. Alright, I'm sure... I was just wanting to get some... I was interested to get some training in. Ugh. Again. Trainer and Tier uh, Trevor and Tierno want a battle. Send out Corfish and Pikachu. Tierno just has a Pikachu? Oh no. Huh. Just weird. Fletchling? Cool. What Pokemon do we have anyway? Oh, I can't see hers. That kinda makes sense. I'll tackle. Take out that core fish. Well, that thing might be a problem. Yeah, whittle down the Pikachu. Oh, got static. Of course she did. <laughs> of course she did, Serena. Thunder Shock. They're just focusing on Serena for some reason. Now they're going after me. Good luck with that. Bam! Hopefully my uh, quick claw kicks in here. Bam! On the core fish again. Peck. Yeah, focus on that core fish. Of course, your core fish could be a problem. Swords dance. Okay, yeah, that core fish is definitely a problem. This core fish is uh, scary. Eat this. Bam. Uh, quick attack. Please get rid of the core fish. Yes, thank you. The thing was setting up on us. We didn't need that. I didn't need to lose anybody. I, I, I didn't think I was going to lose uh, Lazy Boy here, but it was a it was a risk. Uh, like it was always a risk that it could like a random crit could get me. I must learn Chip Away. Cool. Uh, yeah. Forget. Uh, isn't Chip Away 70 damage? Yeah. So I'll just get rid of uh, get rid of Tackle. Does that mean my, my attack gets replaced by Chip Away next turn? I believe that's what that means. Finish up. Oh, there goes your Fletchling. You just lost the Pokemon in your Nuzlocke. Oh, no, I still use Tackle. That's interesting. Had no idea. Do I get Paralyzed, though? Will I get the Paralyzed? Will I get the Static? No. Good. That's good. Send out Flabebe. Does Tierno send out anybody? Oh, Serena sends out Frogadier. Hey, that's cool. And Tierno only has the one Pokemon. All right, I'm going to send out... Uh, What's so rad got here? Ooh, I'm gonna send out so rad. So rad deserves some uh, time in the limelight today. All right, let's go so rad. Frogadier used bubble. Like I'm kind of disappointed. You guys are kind of weak. Well, I know you're my friends and all, but come on, step up your game. This is a nuzlocke here. 
Dude, this uh, this Venoshock is just gonna annihilate this Flabebe. Oh god. Venoshock! Yeah, that's not even fair <laughs> to uh, that Flabebe there. Cool. Tierno. Trevor defeated. <laughs> Whoa, now that was a nice move. So you can't learn everything just from everything just from the Pokedex. I see. Received 3,000 for winning. Cool. It's, it is sure interesting to see how each trainer's style is different. Well, I guess we should head out to Amberette Town then. Uh, yeah, after I, uh, after I heal up here. Actually, I don't, I don't really need to heal up at all, do I? Yeah. I, th I thought I took more damage than, than, uh, than I really did. Is there an item down here? Yes, there was. Before I was so rudely interrupted by these people. Alright. Let's, uh... Should I take a picture? What, what, what even is over here? I want to know. Yeah, call Phil, the, call Phil the photo guy. I'd like to take a picture. Take a photo. Alright, let's take a great photo. I, I, I'm interested to see what's behind me here. What exactly... Oh, it's the, uh, Chotel. Let's do like a weird, like, like, uh, kind of like, kind of like that. Like, maybe like this. And maybe like, I don't know, something like that. It's pretty bad, I don't care. I'm wasting time. <laughs> he probably thinks it sucks. But yeah, this great shot. I'll just give you a tip. Yeah, sure. How much would like the tip? I'll give you a hundred bucks. Not too shabby at all. You have a natural talent as a model. See ya. What do the tips do? I want to know what the tips do. Ooh. Ooh. There's a head there. Or the, the head. Ugh. Cave. There's a cave there. It's over here. Connecting cave. Still. It's over here. Ooh, a horde encounter. This might be fishy. What, what kind of hordes can encounter here? Hordes of Hophib. Hordes of Hophib. That one hop. Why is that one Hophib facing the wrong direction? <laughs> Uh, get out of my way, Hop. Yep. I'm not in the mood for you. This isn't a new route, so I can't capture any of you. This is no point. Ooh, a Persian berry. Blech, berry. Bearer. Persian berry. Ooh, another item, too. Tiny mushroom. I'm just finding shrooms all over the place. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, which, which side of the cave? Does it matter which side of the cave I go into? I don't think it does. Oh, there's a crow gunk. I wish I could get that. I wish I could nab that crow down there, but uh, Snorlax, here was my encounter, which is not a bad thing, actually. I, re I really like it, was going to be my encounter regardless because uh, I had to battle it, was, it was, it was a required encounter. And I'm, I'm, I'm fine with this being my encounter. Sorry, Volbeat, I don't like your band. Stop it, I don't like your band, man. Go away. Couldn't get away. Double team. Don't make don't make Lazy Boy have to smack you down. Chip away. I go first. Eat this. Whoosh. Whoa, that was cool. Ooh, the, the, the double quick claw. That's awesome. Boosh. Bam. I told you, man, I didn't like your band, and you kept trying to give me your mixtape. But yeah, I, I don't like Volbeat the band. I, I don't like their... Their... I don't know. To me, to me at least, to me, Volbeat's... Uh, their, their, their vocal and their musical... Their, their instrumentation and their vocals, they, they, they clash. They don't mesh well. And it's like whenever, whenever I hear them, I don't like the guy's vocals, like, along with the music. It's Connecting Cave. All right, I can catch a Pokemon here. Zubat Roost. I wonder what's in that cave. That's Zubat Roost. 
Uh, do I really want to go into a cave labeled Zubat Roost for my encounter? Not really. <laughs> Let's see what's on the other side here. Go away, Krogunk. Oh, did you hear that? I didn't. I didn't notice that. And I didn't. I didn't notice that before. But uh, the uh, the the Gen Six uh, Krogunk cry has a kind of a gurgly, bubbly pop in it. That's pretty cool. It has the weird little mischievous like laugh, and then it has like a gurgly uh, bubble pop. That's pretty cool. I like I like how they reworked the uh, the cries for the 3D games. I'm a big fan of that. It makes some it makes cries that weren't no, that usually weren't very uh, like noticeable like like not noticeable. It made cries that weren't that distinct more distinct. Wait, is this is this still the Zubat Roost? This is the Zubat Roost. What about, what about the top portion? So I, I was at the bottom before this whole time. <laughs> what about the uh, the top portion over here? Is, is this steel Zubat Roost? Ugh. Zubat Roost. Ugh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's all Zubat Roost. I don't, that's, I don't, I don't think it really matters. All right, what's, what's going, what am I going to catch here? Oh, you're a trainer? Hell yeah, battle me. How well you've raised your Pokemon? Let's have a battle. Let's have a battle. Let's go. You were challenged by Breeder Marcy. Mercy. Uh, <laughs> Breeder Mercy. It's not a duck lip. Duck, duck, duck. Lazy boy can definitely handle a duck. He probably cook this duck and serve it on a platter. Use chip away. Quit using defog. I haven't, made, I haven't set up any entry hazards for you. There's no point in that move. Eat this. Boo. Oh my god. That annihilated that duck. After, uh, after, uh, after Lazy Boy here gets the level, uh, 17, I'm going to switch out. Ooh. I'm just getting those quick claw plays in. Boosh. Leer. Stop it, please. Stop it, Simba. Simba. Pink pajamas, kang. <laughs> Pink pajamas, penguins in the bottom. I almost said. I almost said Kangaskhan's in the bottom for some reason. I'm having problems talking right now. <laughs> Eat this. And get on my face. All right, let's see. It's kind of funny. Uh, speaking of uh, speaking of lit Leo, uh, the, uh, the the the, chi the, the Chinese uh, leaker, the guy who's been leaking Sun and Le leaking Sun and Moon stuff. Nope, I didn't want to keep battling, but uh, the guy, the the person who's been leaking uh, Sun and Moon information, apparently uh, three weeks before Sun and Moon. Uh, for, uh, Three weeks before uh, Sogaleo and Lunala were officially revealed, he posted on his website a picture of Litleo and Zubat. Like he 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 teased Sogaleo and Lunala before they were they were even officially revealed. So basically, I'm pretty I'm I'm positive that the Chinese leaks are true. They're gonna be true. The uh, the, fi the the starters designs might not be the final designs, but they're but they're like they're what to expect from at least. One of the final evolution like sets. I think there might. I'm, I'm thinking there are going to be multiple final evolutions, depending on either dep depending on which version you get. Just because the whole, their connection with uh their their connection with Rock Ruff and Lichen Rock. That's just my two cents. I'm thinking I'm going to stay in with Doctor Strange, get to level 20. Because uh, Snorlax is getting getting too close to uh, Doctor Strange, and I'm going to keep I want to keep my starter as my highest level Pokemon. Pikachu, look at you. Look at this. Bam. Ooh, confusion, yes. Hurt yourself in confusion, please? I'll just thief you. Give me that. I'll probably get static for that. That'll be my luck. No static? Cool. Level 20, yes. Thank you for that. No new moves, though. You're really good at this whole Pokemon, Pokemon raising thing. Ooh, give me fifteen hundred dollars, hell yes. Oh, there's a dude here. Hmm. If you want to get at Ambrett Town, you best hit off, your best off heading back to Route Seven, then take the other entrance. Oh, well, that's kind of pointless. Oh man, I'll probably encounter a Pokemon before I get out of here. Yep. 
And my encounter for the uh, connecting cave is, ooh, a Whismer. That's actually pretty interesting. I'm, I'm happy to get a Whismer. Uh, I'm not happy using a Lazy Boy on a Whismer, though. Uh, who has a pretty weak move? I th think... I think So Red can do do wonders against this Whismer. I'm I'm down for getting a Whismer. I really I really like uh, I really like Exploud. Exploud is a pretty cool Pokemon. It's gonna use Pound on me. How much will this do? Uh, kind of an all right amount, I guess. I use Infestation. I, I mean I don't think this thing's gonna be running away. I just want to do chip damage. I just want to get some chip damage. I know that. It's trying to astonish me. All right, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just chuck him. No, I'm going to chuck a Pokeball at it. Come on, Whismer. Let's see. What, let's see how well you do. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how uh, what your nature is and everything. You break out at the last second, of course. Try to astonish me again. Sniffle. I, I like infestation. It's, it's a cool move. It's, it's got. It's very. It's a very useful move under the right circumstances. Like, uh, like, you toxic them. Oh no! For, no first, first you infestation, so they can't get out. Then you toxic them for they're taking more damage, and then you bind them. That's an overpowered set right there, in my opinion. Toxic bind infestation. Level seventeen. Yes, please. Thank you. So Red wants to learn Sleep Powder. Oh uh, yes, actually Sleep Powder would be a good move to learn. But do I want to get rid of Absorb though? I mean, Absorb doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. And I, I, I mean, the, the Rock Guy is coming up. Like, I don't know if he's the next gym, but he's one of the earlier gyms, I'm pretty sure. And a Rock type move or a Grass type move would be good. But I think I'll just, I think I'll do Sleep Powder. I think I'll take, get rid of Absorb and put Sleep Powder in. Just because Absorb doesn't really do a whole lot. Whismer's data was added to the Pokedex. Cool. It senses danger. If it senses danger, it scares the foe by crying out with volume of a jet plane engine. Oh my god. So what should I, uh, what should I name you? What should I name you? I name you... Not C. What should I name you? I'm gonna name you... MC, damn it! I want to name you MC Ride <laughs> because MC Ride is loud as hell. MC Ride, no damn stylus. MC Ride, no, no. What am what am I trying to put? Mide. MC Ride with an R, please. MC Ride. Hell yeah, MC Ride the Whismer. He's gonna be he, like when it, when it becomes an X blood, it's gonna be even more perfect. MC Ride, hell yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, later on, whenever I get a, whenever I, uh, if I catch a Eveltal in, in the end game, I'm gonna name it, uh, I'm gonna name it Death Grips. Just so you know. <laughs> uh, get my, uh, rollerblades back on. Before I can, uh, actually, do I need to get to the next town? Actually, no, 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 there's the, uh, there's a, uh, there's the daycare here. I can use the computer in there, in the daycare. Luckily, I don't have to walk clear across uh, the, the route to get here. What's PC? Let's uh, organize boxes. Let's see, your docile, pound, uproar, astonish. Immunity, pretty good. Alright, what I'm, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put MC Ride in the daycare. I'm just gonna temporarily swap him out with uh, Plume Boom. I'm gonna put you in the daycare. Would you like to raise the Pokemon? Yes. Uh, raise MC Ride for me. Fine, we'll raise your MC Ride for a while. No, I don't want you to raise another one. Thank you, though. Withdraw. Withdraw Plume Boom. But yeah, they're gonna have their hands full with MC Ride. He's gonna be... <laughs> he's gonna be, uh... I'm in your area! He's, he's, he's just gonna be yelling, like, at the top of his lungs. Come on, let's go. Back to the route. 
Burn out windows. Two exits. Okay, now I can just imagine like MC Ride as a uh, as an explode. That's hilarious. All right, let's go through the other side of the cave. This is this is still the same cave, so I, I can't really uh, can't really catch here or anything else. Not that I would want to, because I'm pretty sure it's just Zubat. It's it's Whis Whismer and Zubat. I'm pretty sure. Is that a, is there an item there? No. Well, that was a simple cave. Ooh, another route for me to catch things in. Nice. Stop right there. Oh my God. Who are you? Oh, it's you two again. Aha, we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Snorlax doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could possibly cover a region as big as Kalos? Well, it can't. That's why we're going to hear the power of the Pokedex. Coastal Pokedex was added. Coastal Pokedex will be on your menu. Tab it to select it. Now, new encounters help people and Pokemon grow and mature. We'll be, we'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. Thank you for that. I'm going to capture a Pokemon here now. What, what am I going to capture? Oh, God. I did not mean to do that. What am I going to capture in this grass? Might, have, might as well just use this grass right here. Oh, another horde encounter. This is, this is going to be interesting. What's it going to be? Ooh, Wingle. Nice. I don't mind, actually, my encounter being a Wingle. Don't mind uh, Don't mind having a water type. It is kind of low, which is kind of annoying. Kind of, kind of a low level. I'm just going to chip away at him and see what happens. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna do go for my uh, my my uh, my method from before before the uh, the Scraggy annihilated me. I'm gonna go for the one in the middle just because that's easy. And these things are just just going to growl at me to death. I'm, I'm glad these these things aren't as trolly as those Scraggy from before. All right. Let's see. Wait, doesn't Chip with a oh, big yawn? I have I've only been up for like. Maybe two hours. <laughs> Still kind of tired. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Chip Away ignores stat changes, so they're kind of like they're kind of not really affecting. They're not, they're not they're not helping at all by uh, by reducing my stats. It's just kind of it's rendered moot by uh, Chip Away. And of course, one of them would get a uh, supersonic off. Supersonic cheeseburger. Lazy boy, uh, chip away at the wingle on the top left. Chip away. Boosh. All right. Oh, yeah, chip. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, chip away is not gonna get affected at all by this. Chip away is actually a pretty good move in that regard. It hits pretty hard, um, and uh, it, it ignores uh, stat changes. So yeah. I'll get rid of that one off to the side there. And then I'll capture the one in the middle. Ooh, and, and uh, I think I might actually go back and uh, put this one and put, put this thing in the daycare too, just so I have a just just so I have some backup Pokemon like continuously leveling up in the daycare if I ever if I ever need need to come back and get them. Of course, you're gonna burst out of the ball. You're bursting my bubble here. Just stop. Making this longer than it needs to. That's, that's the thing with these uh, these horde battles. They always make things. Oh, I don't, I'm not gonna attack. I don't know why I was thinking about attacking. I was gonna use a pokeball as what I wanted to do. Yeah, the, these horde battles always make these uh, these encounters longer than they should be. Would you stop? Oof. I don't know, should I try to lick this thing? I mean, they, they did lower my attack a lot, but I still think it's not going to be enough. Even, even with uh, Wingle and uh, Pelipper's defense, I, I, think, I think they're going to get annihilated by it. Please stop. Do I have anything else I could use besides regular Pokeballs? Uh, no, no, nothing, I, I would, nothing I'm willing to part with. Because those those other balls, some of them are pretty rare. Some of them cost me a pretty penny. So punk balls, it is. Why is this thing being so obnoxious? I don't know. Maybe maybe if this drags on long enough, and he, he uses or she uses enough growls to get me low, to where maybe like I can't go get any lower. Maybe I'll use a lick. Maybe I'll lick him. Lick him like a lick of tongue. Use growl again. 
Actually, I may actually, I may actually uh, lick this thing. Uh, let's try one more ball. If the ball fails and it uses growl again, I will lick you. Maybe I'll get the paralyzed too. That'd be that'd be helpful. You gonna use growl again? Are you gonna use water water gun again? <laughs> this this encounter is really annoying. I, I'm I'm kind of I'm, I'm I'm unsure whether or not a lick would kill this thing. I I mean I can doubt it with all of the drops I've gotten. But I want to get at least one more drop before I, I use Lick. If he uses Growl, it, it just wants to spam Water Gun for some reason. I don't know why. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to literally take like 60 Water Guns to take me down. <laughs> I, hope it, I hope this Weagle realizes that. You just get in the ball, please. please. Thank you. Thank you. You actually did what I wanted you to do. You're going to use a Growl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lick you because I, I believe I believe I believe that can uh, that doesn't get the kill this time. Oh yeah, it, does, it doesn't even do a whole lot to me. And, and uh, it, it, I think it's oh, oh god no no I think it assumed that I would uh, I would lose the confusion so it tried to confuse me again. Come on, please don't hurt yourself. Oh, cool. Lazy Boy's attack won't go any lower. That's good. For, for, for once in a playthrough, that's good. How much does this do? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's actually, that's actually pretty decent damage, if you would stop confusing me. Alright, let's see. Look again. Uh, take another sip of tea. Paralyzed, please. That would, that would be very helpful. But uh, actually, I think the uh, I think I can actually uh, use the ball this time. Boosh. Are you gonna stay in? Because you're you're my encounter, and I have to capture you. Thank you. I do think it's kind of annoying that you can't capture every Pokemon in a, a horde encounter. But oh well, it's not that bad. It makes its nest on steep cliffs, riding up drafts, and soars to the great heights. Give a nickname to Wingle? Yes. What should I name you? Uh. I always name, uh. I'll name you Gullet. Because, uh, Pelipper has quite the gullet on it. Let's make it Gullet. Just for. Because it's female. <laughs> Golette has been transferred to the PC. I'm actually going to run back through that cave and back to the uh, Pokemon Center. Not the Pokemon Center. To the daycare center. Because I'm actually going to put that Wingle into the daycare. Because it could be very helpful later on if I ever need it. Get the boost going. Boost, boost, boost. Repels are effective. Wear off. Use another. Nah, not right now. Wait. Where's the daycare at? There it is. I was confused for a second. I th I th for a second, I, th I was thinking the daycare was, was, was uh, after the uh, the battle ma uh, battle show tale. I almost said battle mason. The battle Freemason. Oh no. Illuminati confirmed. Switch. Alright, let's put this Wingle. Yes, leave a Pokemon. Leave Gullet here. Thank you. And I will take back. Not deposit, goddammit. And I will withdraw. There we go. Alright, back to Route 8, I believe that was. Let's haul ass back to Route 8. Or haul, haul, uh, haul skates. Let's skate like hell. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Hard control. <laughs> I think I'm gonna repel here just to reduce the annoying encounters. 
do 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 do. All right, back on Route Eight. All right. Are there items down here? I think there might be. Oh, there's trainers. Dream big is what I say. You're looking for a future chairman? After all, bring it on. Oh, is this a sky battle? That'd be crazy. No. Your challenge is Rising Star Paulette. So now Axu. Oh. That's a pretty decent Pokemon. Can it stand against Lazy Boy there? Level 19. That's actually kind of scary. Dragon Rage. That's actually scary too. Ugh. Fixed 40 damage. That's not good. Yeah, uh, how would I heal up for that? <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's see. If I had a fairy type, this would be great. I don't have a fairy fairy type, unfortunately. At least not anymore. Dual chop. Ooh. Ooh. That's a pretty good Pokemon you got here, girl. Chip away. Dragon Rage. Boosh. Take that. That's a pretty good Axie. If that was a Haxorus, I would have been terrified. I wouldn't have been able to win that match. She had a lot of money, too. Ugh. These trainers pulling out all the, all the dough. Oh, there's a Strength Rock. What's this? Trainer Tips. Oh, there's another Rising Star. This, uh, this route's kind of, uh, confusing here. It's kind of, things are getting kind of hairy. The potions... Oh, God damn it. The potions, even super potions, don't really do a whole lot for, uh, Lazy Boy there. Let's see, I'm kind of, I'm kind of terrified, actually. Uh... Let's put... Let's put, uh... Let's put Chi Chi up front. Let's get Chi Chi some uh, level leveling up here. According to my predictions, this victory is as good as mine. Are you a psychic? Or are you a rising star? You're a rising star. Set up Pan Cham. Good. Good. Uh, I made a good uh, good choice by switching to Chi Chi. All right, Chi Chi. Let's see. It's Gust. See how much this does. Pretty good amount, if you ask me. All right, gust again, and a quick attack. Quick attack should finish this thing off. Eat that berry. Quick attack, please. Thank you. Bam! Oh, quick attack didn't do what I wanted it to do. That's actually surprising. Another quick attack, please. Yes. Level 17. Is that a level up? No, level 18, I believe, so we're, uh, for a. Uh, Should I replace roll run? I might actually maybe do that. Uh, target's blown away. Hmm. Sand attack, though. Does, uh... Does... Does Plume Boom have sand attack? Not sure. Uh... Whirlwind could help me out. So could sand attack, though. Uh, I think... Should I get rid of... Should I, should I get rid of... Sand attack and put whirlwind because that that could help me out of a jam. Whirlwind, sand attack. Yeah, I, th I think whirlwind uh, is actually a little bit more uh, useful right now in, the, in this Nuzlocke because with whirlwind I can, if it's a Pokemon I'm scared of, I can just boosh, throw it, throw it out and bring in another one. Sand attack, I'd have to stay in and just use it over and over again to, for it to be effective. I think I'll switch out for this one. I'll go into astronomy. Boosh. Send up Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen. Vine Whip. 
picked up fine whip going. Bam. Supersonic. How come all the supersonics are hitting the day? <laughs> Vine whip again. I'm actually surprised I'm faster. I mean, I'm a higher level in a, in a second stage or a first stage evolution, but Goldeen aren't, aren't too slow. Skiddo. I'll stay in and I'll use a. Uh, I'll use. Venoshock. Eat this. Bam. Yeah. Use tackle. Uh, this thing could have sap sipper or something. I'm, I'm, I probably shouldn't use grass top moves. So eat this. All right. 240. Nice. Level uh, level 17. Good. 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 Very good. Defeated Rising Star Rise. That certainly didn't go as my predictions. No, it did not. No, it did not. All right, let's continue onward. I would like to use another another repel. These trainers are tough enough as it is. I don't need to be dealing with Pokemon right now. I can't get past that. This is a maze of a route. 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 I don't know why I have an accent when I say that. What's what's this all about? Oh, it's this. It's this uh, nonsense. All right. Let's, we've got a puzzle in our hands, everybody. Let's uh, do this and 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 this. Some of that, some of that. Cool. What's back here? Ooh, Amber at Town. Okay, that just that just that just leads straight to the next town. Okay, that was a, that was quick. That was quicker than I, quicker than I expected. Whoa! You see that? Oh my God! You see me glitching out there? That was that was crazy. Ugh. One, two, three. What kind of item we got here? Ooh, Leaf Stone. Do I have anybody that can evolve with a Leaf Stone? I don't think I do. I will. Uh, I will as soon as a. Uh, I will as soon as I get uh, a gloom, though. Do I want to continue exploring? I'm, I may do that. I may continue exploring uh, this route. Uh, I don't know what, what's, the, what's the time looking like. Ugh. Looks like we're uh, looks like we're pushing an hour, a little bit over an hour here right now. Ooh, there's a there's a fighting type trainer right there. I think I'll keep Lestronomy in front. Astronomy. I mean, plume boom. My ma chop and I walk these mountain paths on our bare feet. <laughs> Think you can take us on? Hell yeah! <laughs> ran out, of, ran out of breath there for some reason. <laughs> Black belt Kadok. Send up my job, my job. Let's see if Chi Chi is beefy. Probably not. This my chop's kind of scary, actually. Even scarier now that I, I know it, it can't. Oh my god! It's, this might be a dangerous matchup. I'm not. Oh my god! <sighs> what did I say? And I lost Chi Chi today. I, I really didn't want to lose anybody this match. Thank you, thank you, matchup. I, I, I really I really appreciate you murdering my Pokemon. <laughs> I was really looking forward to a mega uh, a mega Pidgeot later, but I guess not. But but. Because that was just a Pidgey and not a Pidgeotto, if I encounter a Pidgeotto later in a route, in a later route, I can catch it. So the the op, the uh, chance for Mega Pidgeot is still there. Doctor Strange, take care of this thing. Uses Foresight. I don't know what you're doing. I'm not a ghost type. That does nothing to me. Side beam, please. This thing must be dealt with. This thing must be punished. Take that. Thank you. You murderer. Uh, appears that building a thick skin on one's feet does not make one strong in battle. I don't like you. You, mur you, you murdered. You murdered. Chi-Chi. I, I don't even know if I can get to that root down there. 
I'm gonna try though. Yeah, another repel. Uh, there's a uh, there's a strength area right there. It doesn't look like I can get down there. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I can. Give me that. HP up, nice. I'm not sure. Maybe I can get down there. Uh, no, no, no repels at this time. Uh, it doesn't look like I can, I can get down there yet. It looks like I may... Yeah, it looks like I may need to get strength to get down there. I believe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It, oh, wait. Okay, maybe. I think I remember now. Uh, I think I can get down there in that part from the other side of Ambrett Town. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, that, I can't get down there just yet. So, let's get back to Ambrett Town. And I'm pretty sure this is the rock, uh, the rock gym leader here. Oh my god, I wish I would have caught that instead of that damn, <laughs> that damn wingle. I wish it, well, a drift wound would have been pretty cool. But I need to get back to Amberette Town, get to the Pokemon Center, and deposit my poor, uh, my poor Pidgey. And I made that mistake again. Thank you. <laughs> I, I always found puzzles like this annoying, <laughs> mainly because I can never forget. I, they, they just take me forever to get to, to get. Uh, let's get out of here. All right, welcome to Amberette Town. Hey there, neighbor. Please don't battle me. This is Amberette Town. You go. You just go through the aquarium to get to the Silid City. But first, we should go to the fossil lab. Cool. We. Uh, I will go to the fossil lab next episode. Seems like heal up here. Hello, welcome to your Pokemon Center. Blah blah. Heal up. No. Oh, I'll have to put. I accidentally healed up, but Pidgey's still dead. P you, you, you can't revive a dead Pokemon, even though I'm about to go to a place that can revive dead Pokemon. But yeah, uh, we're gonna have to deposit uh, deposit Chi Chi here in the graveyard <laughs> the graveyard box. No. And then, save. I'll talk to a few people here. Pokemon fossils are quite are quite rare themselves. They're not nearly as rare as the stones you'll find along Route 10. Talk to you. Pokemon fossils, what do you, what do you think they dream about? Um, being dead? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, uh, I'm in Iambrett Town, and I'll continue next episode. I can't believe... Uh, <laughs> I, it always seems like I end off the episodes with me losing a whole bunch of Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we lost uh, we lost Chi Chi, but oh well. Uh, all right, until uh, until next time, guys. This is D White Handout. Peace.